I hate to be biased, but hands down, this has been my favorite wig of the moment. This one comes courtesy of Wiggins. It sends over the beautiful 24 inch ready to go pre-styled braid loose deep wave wig. She is a 13 by 6 lace. And did I mention that she's my fave? I've been getting all the compliments and the braids have kept intact. It's been two weeks and I've just been in love with her. So I'm going to show you guys when I first received the wig, how I installed the wig straight out of the box. She's super simple and easy to install all very much beginner friendly and again she is a showstopper a banger and she gets all the compliments so so if you want to see how i got this look let's get started so today i am working with wiggins and they sent over a really nice pre-styled wig i had a chance to um see it of course before or you know pick it out before they sent it but i have not opened the package to see what it actually looks like so this is going to be something fun for all of us they also gave us some goodies inside of the package. I'll go through those a little bit later, but we did get like um, this here, which is that true tape to tape and bond your wigs down as well as some extra rubber bands because again, this one is pre-styled. Um, we probably will need the melt belt as well. The rest of the stuff in here, well, I'll just show you guys. We got the HD wig caps and then we got some falsies, some really nice 3D mink lashes. And then we got, um, a little mint blue baby hair brush and then and we got the dust bag and their dust bag is red with that silver really pretty print it's like a metallic it just says wiggins wiggins hair once meet never forget so super nice and then we have the star of the show keep in mind it is 3 46 i have to be out of the house no later than four o'clock so that is crazy i had to touch up my nails i was missing three nails my toes look a hot mess i'm missing a whole toenail on one of my toes so i did some press ones they came out really good but underneath my toes look crazy so on here they do give you the specs of the wig and this one is 24 inches and it's a size small cap i like a good size small cap because my hair is um my head is kind of small but here is the wig itself i feel like i have add i don't know how to focus so i'm going to take off the net and then this is like the stuffing inside and then you remove everything. I have all the details down below. But look at how beautiful the wave pattern is. This one gives, like, I'll be able to drop this one on my head. And I won't need to add any water or any product. And it'll still look beautiful. And it's promised this one is a pre-styled wig. So it does come with two French braids going along the front. They have, like, a curve to it. And look at the parting. Like, they stamped the parting out absolutely perfect and then they also pre-styled the baby hair as well so i like the fact that they give this little white styrofoam because when it comes to trying to show you guys on camera it helps me to be able to show you guys a little bit better and this is a pre-everything wig so it's pre-plucked uh the knots are pre-bleached and then the lace is pre-cut so it's literally a put on and go style wig so i really need to get this done in like seven minutes or less oh let me show you guys this is the inside construction of the cap you guys can see how perfectly they like parted it really really nicely at the nape you do have a little excess lace i'm going to cut the little extra off and this is because if you want to bond the wig down in the back you can keep as much as you would need to kind of use to adhere the wig and then of course i'm going to adjust the straps and then of course they also gave the adjustable and removable elastic band so let me go ahead and attach this cut the lace off adjust the straps and then we can go ahead and put a wig cap on my head and we can go Okay, everything is perfect and as needed. Now I'm gonna take one of these. This is like a, um, I've been trying to keep up with buying my silk scrunchies. They probably are satin and not silk. These are two different kinds, but I've been trying different brands off of Amazon. I washed my hair in the shower and I don't know if it's a placebo, but I feel like my roots are getting thicker. Um, you guys know I have really thin hair and it just feels like from the root out, it feels thicker. Okay, next up we're gonna put on the HD wig cap. I did have a brown wig cap that i brought over here oh it's right here on the floor it's from my, when my hair was dirty an hour ago so maybe i should just put on a fresh one i need to order some brown wig caps the really nice chocolate brown ones so um in the meantime i'm just gonna go hd wig cap because it should be but you see how my hair like it just doesn't lay flat i feel like it's so much thicker okay let's go ahead and put the wig on because we got to go 
and this is what the wig looks like on okay super super nice okay you see what i mean about brown wig caps i feel like hd wig caps don't match and because i just washed my hair i don't really want to um put powder on the lace so i'm gonna push that all the way back because i don't i'm gonna put powder in the lace i don't want to put powder on the wig cap i feel like i'm nervous like it's the first time i'm ever talking to you guys okay so this is what the wig looks like on and this is the hairline let's go ahead and just get started with getting it on because literally i have like four minutes so i'm just gonna cut off the excess lace here the reason i'm doing that is because you can see here they gave me some pre-styled baby hair but it's longer than my ears so my ears way up here and there's this much lace left so let's remove any excess and because this is pre-braided, I'm going to be careful and not go too far back. That works out perfect. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Whenever you put it in your wig, if it flips up like the lace, that means it's probably buckling from the shape of your head. So I'm going to cut off anything that flips or buckles. Then next we're gonna go ahead and edge control our natural sideburns so everything blends really nicely. My back is on fire. Look how beautifully that sits just by cleaning up my own edges. You see this one is buckling, let's fix that. And now we are pretty much good to go. I wanna be careful because it needs wrong movement you could kind of mess up your braids and then you will have to rebound the wig down so i'm gonna pull my wig back i'm gonna apply this adhesive this one is from red by kiss so i went ahead and switched to a brown wig cap just to give me a more seamless look since i am going to an event tonight so i'm i did one layer of this and i kind of like to just let that get dry and then I go in a second time. You want to use your finger if you can or whatever you have to kind of catch it so it doesn't roll down your face, especially when you have on makeup. And then go on top with the lace and kind of just hold it there if needed until we can kind of start it to get tacky. Make sure that you have enough of that product there to do what it needs to do. And I feel like when I put my product on the lace underneath, it just holds better. But you can go over and do a little bit over top. Just make sure that if it rolls, you catch it. Because whatever product is on your skin will dry with like a cast. So I'm going to take any extra off. And then we're going to go ahead and do this here. Now I would do the true tape. But because I cut off those sideburns, um, I'm not going to say there's nowhere for it to go. But you see how this part kind of goes into my hair and my hairline. I don't like applying tape and stuff like that to my actual hair so my lace isn't going far enough forward that 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 would make sense we can go ahead and mold the hairline down really quickly it is four o'clock so it's time to go so i'm gonna go ahead and let that bond down we're gonna take some nairobi mousse to the ends again you guys can see how beautiful the ends already are so you really don't need much product at all i'm just gonna go over for my own you know little custom touch mousse and water for me is the perfect product especially on the ends don't forget to go under as well also mousse works great over top of your braids and it kind of will dry and kind of make your braids firm if you don't like rub it in. And then you add some water to kind of like saturate that product through, especially if you don't want to use a lot of product. Again, focus your water and your hydration on the ends the most. And then from here, I'm going to blow dry the hairline just because I have to leave like two minutes ago. That came out perfect. Okay, so here I am and I am just tinting the lace. Like so. And then from here we can take and we can play with the baby hair. I'm 
template of the edges they provided. Blot off any excess. And just like that, we are ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry when we're out. It's Friday, so I'm taking the girls to dance. Then we also were invited to a barbecue. So we're gonna go have some fun. And then I will be back to show you guys the final result. But for right now, this one was super simple, easy to apply. Absolutely flawless. The lace is flawless. The hair is flawless. I'll show you the back. And voila, I'm actually gonna wear my melt belt like in the car ride so it can be perfect. But yeah, let me just slip on some leggings and go. Mm. See you in a few or for you guys it'll be the next clip. <laughs> Okay, love bugs. This is the end of the video. I ended up going out this night. The girls had dance after I finished my hair. And then from there, we went to the valley and did a little bit of a backyard barbecue, Hawaiian style. Um, we had a lot of fun. The kids were in the pool and literally until almost the morning. So this is me after the end of the day. I looked absolutely fly. Got so many compliments all while I was out. And even since then, I've gotten so many compliments. So this is definitely a beautiful girl. Very, very nicely constructed. Absolutely absolutely amazing all of the details as well as the link are down below thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video and share with your friends and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches